My name is Rafael Escalante, and I'll be briefly presenting to you guys today on the music genre known as bedroom pop. And among my brief presentation, I'll be covering three main topics, which will be the starts of music pop, the popular culture influence that this music genre has had, and also the reasons why artists of bedroom pop use social media, and lastly, also the cultural analysis of this genre. And despite bedroom pop being a fairly new genre and unknown to many, it has had a very, it has gained attention and a following base from younger generations. So to start off with the start of Bedroom Pop, I got my information from an article titled Bedroom Pop and the Rise of the DIY Artist by Broken Stereo. And a DIY artist is an artist who writes their own music. They produce their own sounds. They record their music and it all usually takes place at their own home and specifically their bedroom. And more of newer artists and just artists in general are leaning more towards becoming independent since due to the advancements of the digital audio workstation. And this method is way cheaper compared to the to paying thousands for producers and engineers when it is all online and could be learned. And this form of music is what birthed the genre in itself of bedroom pop. And bedroom pop is not really a new genre, but it was known previously as lo-fi music. And some characteristics of lo-fi music were the slight auto-tune chords, the scratching of vinyl in the background music, and the anime gifts. And listeners enjoy the calming and relaxing vibes of lo-fi and some people have deemed this genre as ruining music due to the morphine in the background music which isn't really played around with in newer and newer and mainstream music <clears throat> and beru pop was the product of young artists who were on a budget trying to make the best music they could within that budget and within their limited resources they had. And some music streaming services such as Spotify, SoundCloud, and YouTube have allowed these artists to spread out their music throughout the world. And some known artists of this genre are Claro, Kuko, Stowoozy, and Victor Internet. So now moving on to the second topic, which is the influence in pop culture, is I got my information from an article titled Bedroom Pop Genre Takes the Music Industry by Hazy Dreamy Storm by Hilltop Views. And due to the rise of bedroom pop, the meaning of authentic music has changed a lot because obviously, you know, as genre generations move on, we all tend to change pop culture based on our likings and bedroom pop j branched out of lo-fi music which just means low fiddly music and quality music before was seen as renting out expensive studios and contracting very well known and respected producers which obviously required high sums of money <clears throat> And bedroom pop artists, they focus more on the technicalities and opt for more imperfections and raw artistry, which just basically means they like and they leave such mistakes and imperfections and auto-tunes that may not be as accepted in more commonly listened to music. And Steve Lacey, who is, who is a pioneer and very important and looked up upon this genre he recorded most of his music on his iphone and he has worked with very important people and musicians such as tyler the creator the internet and kendrick lamar and the main essence of bedroom pop is just to make the best music 
you can within your limited amount of technology and resources you may have. And within the internet, it is very easy for people to learn how to make and record their own music. And some, and many of these artists, they are very well, they are good friends and they create bonds among each other and help helping out systems. And some artists, which you guys could check out or not, of this genre are Jacob Ogwa, Puma Blue, Sebastian Roca, Michael Sawyer, Yellow Days, Inner Wave, Los Retros, Katsuoso, Bane's World, and Peach Pit. And moving on to the use of social media by bedroom pop artists, I got my information from an article titled, Do Musicians Need Social Media? The Shocking Reality by Music Industry How To. So social media, it is an easy way to catch and build up a audience and to send out your message. And it is a way for the audience to keep in touch and see what their favorite artists are doing, such as releasing new music and any new merchandise they might be releasing and such. And to get people to, and it's also a way to get people to attend shows by promoting the venues and shows and any gigs. And also a way of buying the albums of the artist and to promote their new music and such. And it is also helps to connect with the fans, which may be harder if you do not have a social media and it might make you feel out of touch and place with the with the fan base. And the great and it's also a great way of promoting any gigs and events the artists may have, which could increase their sales and their income of their events. And it is also a good manner into keeping in touch with other artists, which could be collabed with and such. And it is a way of the artist himself, himself or herself to hype up their music and or any new projects and to get the people more attentive and willingly to listen to their new music by releasing small parts of their songs on social media, which could help them out their new music gain higher listens and it is also easier for songs to go viral due to tiktok since many of the users of tiktok they do dances and it would be easier for them to spark up since it's a very well-known social media source and moving on to the cultural analysis that is this genre shows itself the motivation that ye- that young people and just any artist in general may have into making the best music with the little amount of resources they may have. And it is also a way, and also this shows how many people may look for rather alternative music rather than mainstream music that is played all over. And it is also shows for uh, that people are looking for a higher amount of slow and more emotional songs that some of these artists have. And in conclusion, my name is Rafael Escalante and I presented to you guys on Bedroom Pop and I covered the start of Bedroom Pop, the, the influence in pop culture this genre has had and lastly, the cultural analysis and despite this being a fairly new genre it has gained a very high high amount of listeners and thank you guys for your time and listening to me